product I would use to make the fence posts last longer is the product called Post Saver. And as you can see, if this is installed correctly, uh, it comes with a 20 year guarantee against rot. So a really good product. So I'll just show you how to install one now. So these sleeves come in a range of sizes, you know, for different diameter posts. In this instance, it's a 4x4 four four fence post. This one is a 2.4 metre long post or 8 foot post, which will be used to construct a 6 foot uh, pressure treated fence. Now for a standard 8 foot post, standard practice to go 2 feet into the ground uh, with the post. So the first line we mark on the post is, this is the 2 feet mark or 600 millimetres. And then we mark another line, which is 70 millimetres past uh, the, the ground line there. So the sleeve simply opens up, you know, much like a, a hollow tube. So we open up and we just slip it over the end of the fence post. So we've got the sleeve over the post now. You can see that just slides up and down. Uh, what we're looking for is the edge of this sleeve to meet the second line which is the line that's 70 millimetres above the 600 millimetre line. So we'll just slide that up. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is heat this sleeve uh, with a propane torch and that, that'll act as a shrink wrap. So once this is heated and then it cools down, it contracts and shrinks onto the post. That now. All I'm using, just some uh, propane gas with a, a heating torch. Um, and we'll heat that up now, I'll show you. So just heating the sleeve gently until it shrinks onto the post. Just keep spinning it. See how that shrinks down onto the post. Just keep the heat into it. Keep moving the torch. And then what we do now is just use a roller, just a metal roller or even a foam roller will do, and just roll the sleeve, you know, flat to the post. There's actually a bitumen solution under the sleeve here, so it's actually sealing itself into the post. And as the sleeve's cooling, it's tightening against the post all the time and creating that seal. Um, now all we need to do is let this cool down and it's, it's shrinking all the time as it cools and just creating that bond onto the post. I've actually got another one here that I've done previously, which is now shrunk into place. Yeah, so here's one now that's uh, totally cooled down. Um, you can see how tight that is to the post. As I said, as it cools, it totally shrinks onto the post and gives you, you know, a super tight seal all the way down the post. Uh, obviously, you've got this bitumen solution underneath there, which creates the barrier. So that's it. Um, this will be the ground line. This will all be submerged in concrete. Um, it's very rare that you get any rot uh, within you know, the, the bottom of fence posts, in my experience anyway. I mean, I take a lot of these rotten posts out uh, in my job, um, and it's always this top few inches that's rotten. It's very rare that you find any rot down here. You know, you see a lot of videos about people putting on, you know, putting the posts on gravel for drainage and, and such like, but to me it's just not necessary, in my experience anyway. But everybody's got their own way, but this is a preferred method that I use. So we'll show you these getting installed into the hole now, and if you stick around, I'll show you another method of, or another layer of protection, if you like, uh, that goes around the post using uh, another product. Okay, so we've got a hole dug. Uh, it's roughly at 600 millimetres deep. Here's the post ready to go in. So this is the depth we've just dug here. Uh, a neat little trick I use to save measuring is, if you get your post hole diggers, Measure 600 mil up from this point, and then just mark with tape. And that way you can... It just gives you a visual aid when you're digging the holes. You can see the tape. It's pretty much level with the ground, so we know the hole's roughly at the right depth. So 
we'll get the post in now. Okay, so that's the post in the hole. And if you can see on the sleeve, you've got the ground line mark here. So what you're aiming for is to have that ground line, you know, flush with the, the ground. Just have the hole, you know, a good space around the post all the way around for the concrete. Um, so what, what you do here now is just put the concrete in the hole and it's up to yourself if you take it right up to the the ground line or what I normally do is keep it slightly under and then put topsoil on the top. So we'll fill this with concrete now up to about this point, fill it with topsoil up to the ground line and then I'll show you how that looks. Okay so we've got the post cemented in and then we've got a couple of inches, well three to four inches of topsoil above the cement and you take that uh, to the ground line which is marked on the sleeve. I've taken it just below just to show you this, you know, so you can get a clear view of the mark. But normally this would be slightly further down so that's level or flush with the, the ground. So you can see the post there. And that's what you're aiming for. Yeah, so in a nutshell, that process there will stop your post from rotting at the base. Um, and as the sleeve says, you know, it's guaranteed against rot for 20 years. The only thing it does not protect against is mechan uh, mechanical damage, such as hitting the post with a strimmer. Uh, I'll show you some examples now, and I'll show you another method how you can protect against that to further protect your post. Okay, so as I was saying, even if you have the post sleeves uh, fitted, um, a big issue with posts and gardens, you know, in general, is you can see all this overgrown grass here. Obviously normally what the homeowner would do is the homeowner would do is come up, strim all this, and then the process they would hit the post with the strimmer strimmer line. I don't know if you can see the damage there, but that, that damage there has been caused by the strimmer hitting the post. And then it So that's what you typically do, you know, when you're strimming your garden. Yeah, this could be any fence, obviously, this is just chicken wire, but you could, this could be a normal wooden fence. But that's what happens. You saw the strimmer coming in here, hitting the post, it's unavoidable really. You know, the strimmer line then takes divots out of the post, which then exposes bare wood. So basically you've lost your, you know, the tannoyized treatment of the post and, you know, moisture in this area will just attack that post really quickly and before you know it this post will be rotten and you'll, it'll need replaced. So I just thought I would demonstrate what I meant there and uh, now we'll get the product that protects against that. Okay so the product I'm talking about is from Fence Armour. Uh, now what you get in the kit is two corrosion resistant sleeves. These clamp around the four inch post and then the screw in position with you know, the supplied screws, which are corrosion resistant. Very simple to fit. And if you fit these on top of the post sleeve, you know, the post that's been sleeved, and this just gives you the ultimate protection. So I'll show you fitting these now. Okay, so what we do now, we've got the, the fence armor plates. We've got the sleeve post cemented in place. Now what we do is just place one half of the plates over and we'll secure it at the front with one screw. These are the supplied pan head screws, I don't know if you can see that, but we'll just gently insert that. So that's one screw. We'll take the second plate, put it on the rear side of the post. Okay, so we've got the front plate fitted. We've got the, the rear plate there, as you can see. So what we'll do is secure it at the front there, and then you can you see, see the side, side section here where these two uh, parts mate together and the pan head screw will go through both plates and secure that. So I'll fit that now and then show you what the final product looks like. Okay, so that's fence armour fully installed to the post. So we can see the, the post sleeve protruding just above it and the plates on top, fully secured and four points all the way around. So to me, this is one of the best ways you can prolong the life of your fence posts. You know, it is a bit more of an investment, you know, in time and money for the product, but well worth it, you know, when you've, you've now got a 20 year guarantee. 
here and protection against a strimmer, strimmer, strimmer damage. Right guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully the video gave you some information, was some use to you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. Please comment below on any of your thoughts um, and hopefully subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again guys. Thank you. Cheers. All the best.